Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours. So let's take a look at what's coming forward for the next 48 hours for Aquarius. Okay, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, so you could be attracting someone new in your life. Attracting that perfect someone. Okay, let's get some more energy. Let's take a look at what we have for Capricorn. Excuse me, Aquarius. I just got done with Capricorn. Okay, we have light activation. Your internal, excuse me, it says shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So Spirit is letting you know to be bold, be daring. You know, shine your light. Your light is very strong. Right, Aquarius? Okay, so let's take a look at your money. What's going on with Aquarius? We have you and your loved ones are safe. So the angels are letting you know that you have safety. You have protection. You may be, be uh, divinely guided at this time. Okay? But your angels are letting you know that they're surrounding you with safety and protection at this moment. That you and your loved ones are safe. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some energy for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius spirit? Next 48 hours. What energy do we have for Aquarius? Next 48 hours, please. By the way, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you see it, it's when you're meant to receive it. And this guidance, you know, if it resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Smash that like button for your girl, please. It really helps out my channel for your support, and I appreciate all your support. I love you so very much. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius? Okay, the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, we have the Temperance in reverse. There's someone that you're dealing with. <laughs> you're waiting for someone to make a choice and you're getting impatient. Aquarius. Or this could be you that needs to make the choice. But someone is getting very impatient. Okay, and they're getting impatient with this King of Cups here. Whoever this King of Cups is, I feel like you have strong chemistry with a person, but you feel like they're not moving fast enough. We have the um, Page of Pentacles in reverse, <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool in reverse. You're ready. You're like, what the heck? Wow. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the King of Swords in reverse. So, here's... I, I feel like Aquarius, you're waiting for something to... You're waiting to walk away from something. You're waiting for someone. You could be waiting for someone to leave something. You know, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse too. The Three of Pentacles in the Sun. Um, yeah, I feel like you're waiting for something to happen. You're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop here. Right? You're waiting for someone to walk away. Are you waiting for someone to walk away so that they can be with you? What are you waiting for? Okay. Um, but I feel like, you know, you feel like this is going to make you happy if this change happens. Right? You're ready to walk away from less conflict, less fighting, maybe. Hmm. Okay. The King of Cups in reverse. 
The King of Cups in reverse, you know, someone may be manipulating a situation, okay? Like I said, I feel like someone is getting very impatient by someone not making a decision. This could be you, Aquarius. Maybe you're the one not making the decision or maybe the person that you're thinking about. The person that you're watching this for, the person on your mind, is kind of manipulating a situation. They're not willing to make a decision. They're not willing to make some kind of change. You know, and you're getting very impatient. You're waiting for something to happen and it hasn't yet. So that's bringing you a lot of aggravation, right? You're just, you're just annoyed. You're annoyed at certain situations. You know, you want things to happen when they're supposed to happen. And you're just like, you know, with the Page of Pentacles, I mean, this is like, and I don't want it to say it the wrong way, but this is like no ambition, no desire, you know? Um, you feel like it's, it's no good news right now, right? It's just like, you know, like someone used to say, it's all bad. It's just all bad, right? <laughs> but it's not. It's really not. It's not all bad. It's not all bad news. But right now it feels that way. It feels like it's all bad news, right? And with the Nine of Pentacles, this could be that right now you have the lack of resources. You just don't feel independent. You don't feel like you have what you need at the moment. Um, maybe you, you've been spending too much in your financial situation. More money has been going out than coming in. Okay, but there may be a need for you to watch your spending right now. There may be a need for you to um, just keep a hold of those pennies a little bit, right? Because the fool in reverse, this is someone being reckless. This is someone taking unnecessary risks. They're not going things the right way. They're not taking this leap of faith. They're being reckless, you know, or they're being very naive in a situation. Okay, the, the Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> I feel like, you know, you are really trying to find comfort in your area. You're trying to find that security, that stability. You know, you may be being very practical at the moment, but I feel like this energy is... kind of, I want to say dumbfounded because with the seven of pentacles in reverse, this is work without any results, distractions, you know, not being able to finish something that you start, not being rewarded, you know, so I feel like, you know, you're looking for stability and security, but you're not being rewarded for the things that you've done. You're not getting that you know, that feeling of accomplishment. The King of Swords in reverse, this is someone who's manipulating. Someone who can be very cruel with their words, very reckless with their words. Um, showing too much weakness, right? Someone could be saying very harsh things. And I, you know, to be totally honest with you, Aquarius, I feel like this month, all the signs have been going through it, right? I feel like there's so much going on. There's so much going on at the moment. And I feel like whatever this ma manipulation is, whatever is making you feel unappreciated, unrewarded, you know, Whatever this is, you're ready to walk away from it. You're ready to leave this behind because your emotions are like, I just don't care anymore. 
I'm just ready for it to, to be finished. Right? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards for my lovely Aquarius. Why is the King of Cups here in reverse? Give me a message for Aquarius. Why is the King of Cups here in reverse? The Two of Swords in reverse. Someone's not making the decision that you expected. Someone's not willing to make a choice. You know, maybe the decision is too difficult. But someone's not making a choice. Capricorn actually had something very similar when it came to the um, Two of Swords, but their Two of Swords was on this side, you know? Um, but yeah, it's very similar. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So there we have this feeling of just, wow. Okay, for the Two of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's not making choices. Oh my goodness. And I feel frustrated just doing this reading because, you know, I, I get where you're coming from, Aquarius, because it can be very frustrating waiting on someone to make a choice, even if it's waiting for yourself to make a choice. It can get very frustrating. Why is the page of pentacles in reverse here? Message for Aquarius. Temperance in reverse. Look, we have the temperance in reverse here, the temperance in reverse there. Yeah, you're frustrated. Look, page of pentacles in reverse, temperance in reverse, temperance in reverse, page of pentacles in reverse. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles. You feel like you're going backwards instead of gaining. With the Fool, we have the Moon. There's a lot of things unresolved. Hmm. With the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Pentacles, we have the Judgment. And with the King of Swords, we have the World. This cycle is ending. This is a cycle that's ending. There's going to be a turning point. You know, all these feelings are going, going to come to a crashing halt. Right? Because there, there's too much frustration here. There's a lack of movement, a lack of decision making. And you're going to hit a turning point. You're going to hit a turning point where there's just this explosion. Right? With the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're not willing to give up on something. Even though it looks dire. It looks like it's not going to work out. You're not willing to give up. You're willing to push through. And because you're willing to push through, because you're willing not to give up, you know, you're going to hit a turning point. The, the full card, you know, like I said, this is really reckless energy because this full is in reverse. Now, played with the, uh, the moon card as well, this is reckless and delusional, right? This is illusions. This is not taking the right path not going things the right way, not using your intuition, being very unclear. You know, you don't have all the information, but still you're, you're just sitting by waiting for something to happen, waiting for some kind of decisions to be made. And they're not, they're not being made. Okay. With the Wheel of Fortune energy, look at this. We have three major arcanas over here on this side. You know, so this is a strong message. This is a very strong message. Um, because I feel like there is going to be some kind of turning point. Things just may move in your favor. They may, 
you know, work themselves out. This may be karmic energy coming through because we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card and the world. So this is karmic energy here, you know, destiny. But it's the, the Wheel of Fortune and the world are all about cycles. The Judgment card, this can actually be about a rebirth. You know, something being revived, something like being restored, okay? Something being awakened. Um, the world card, this is definitely some kind of completion, some kind of cycle ending and a new cycle beginning, you know, but the, the world card is all about lessons learned and it's about achievements. Right, so something that you have achieved, something that you've learned through all these lessons has ended the cycle and it's going to be the beginning of a new cycle. Okay, uh, with the, now we have the, the Knight of Wands in reverse, right? This is anger. Someone's being very impulsive. Someone's being very reckless. We have the devil in reverse. You know, this is being set free. Releasing yourself from that energy. But we have the fool in reverse again. This is still someone being very naive. Someone still being reckless. Even though there's a way to free yourself from that energy. You know, this could be... Uh, Capricorn, we have air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you know, we have Pisces, we have, um, fire, Aries, you know, we basically have most of the signs here. You know, but we have the the five of swords in reverse. So somewhere along the line, this recklessness is going to switch over to the dire, the desire to reconcile. Okay, so if this is a relationship, someone's being very reckless. Someone could be cheating, lying, or stealing. You know, someone's not doing something right. But after all of this anger, deception, and, you know, there's going to be a reconciliation. There's going to be some desire to forgive someone and to restore the love, you know, despite the Seven of Swords here in reverse, you know, someone, someone's trying to restore the, I mean, if this is a relationship, there could be a reconciliation, okay, um, maybe someone will take control of the situation and move past it. And we have the, the King of Cups here and the uh, Seven of Swords in reverse, with, which is someone coming clean, someone speaking their truth. Okay. And we have the Seven of Wands in the upright. Not willing to give up the fight, you know, defending yourself. Okay, and we have the Three of Cups, you know, maybe going, finding some kind of support, finding some kind of, you know, help within your friendship, within your family, some kind of, you know, the Three of Cups, this could also be um, friendship, community, connection. You know, maybe you feel so connected to this person that you are willing to reconcile after they've done all this chaos. Okay, after they've done all this angry 
conflict and just, ugh. You know? But I still feel like you're protecting yourself because there's a tower moment. There's some changes coming. And after these changes, you're going to be able to find happiness. But you're not going to find happiness until after this tower. Okay? That's just you know, you're going to have this tower moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get some angel cards for my lovely Aquarius. I definitely feel like all the signs have been going through it lately. Okay, messages for Aquarius. We have Relationship Harmony. Archangel Ragiel. Uh, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Okay, so there, there will be some kind of resolution. We also have moon cycles. Archangel Haniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. You know, I don't know if it has anything to do with the eclipse. It just happened on the 21st. Or what but it's like wow it's just like wow all the signs have been really going through it okay let's get your angel number we have one four three preparation life is filled with phases the whisper is telling you to prepare for the unexpected and allow change to pass through with a sense of peace Financial and creative changes are upon you. Your affirmation, my dreams and desires are coming to fruition. Bringing change that I welcome with an open heart and mind. Okay. So, my beautiful Aquarius, this is your reading. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. And if you're interested in love, take a look at my collective playlist. I have the love readings in there as well. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.